Oh, hello there. Welcome back to another episode of Emmer Fishing Freak. Fish review. Fish review. Today is another how to catch. If you don't recognize the setting, kind of, I mean, I know it's my room. Um, that's the guy here with the picture. It's from a bot to shot, I guess. Sign, poster. <sighs> I'm hyper. Like normal during these videos. That's why they're so choppy. But in today's video, we are going to be, or I am going to be showing you how to catch. Yes, guys, I know. It's weird, it's weird, it's weird. How to catch. I actually haven't made up my mind yet. I should probably do that before I make the videos. I had two ideas. But I think I'm going to go with greenback for this one. Or white bait. Like the schooly ones. Bait. And I'll save the other one for whenever I upload it. Could be today. Well, this one's definitely going to be today. But um, the next one could be today, tomorrow, over the weekend, which is tomorrow. You will never know. But what do we do in these videos, guys? I knew it. You knew it. I talk about how I caught the fish, how could you catch the f these fish, and what is, and any stories I have with them. So, I'm going to start off right now by saying there's really only like two ways to catch these guys. A, and the easiest way, sabiki rig. That's the only way I've ever caught mine. B, 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 B would be that really tiny hooks. And you throw, like, the smallest chunk of shrimp you've ever seen. Or, like, a really small soft plastic. I don't know if that would work. I mean, sabikis are unofficial, but I don't know how a sabiki works, really. I just put it in the water and hope that for the best. Don't have a picture of my greenbacks. So I'm not going to put it right here. Yes, less editing. Um, Or relatively no editing at all, because all I have to do is make a thumbnail, and then I can just throw this on the internet. Um... This is my Blanky. His name is Blanky. But back to the story. I almost drove my dad's boat into a, like a pylon, like a um, channel marker. I'll try and catch some greenbacks once. Um, that was nice. So then he gave me the rod and then I got a knot. Hey, I can show you guys those knots someday. So I haven't got them out. It's been about a month. probably been half a year to be honest huh, itchy 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 that's why there's no editing guys because you need to hear whenever I'm itchy back up here on the this thing my bed um so greenbacks are good bait for a variety of creatures like big trout, reds, redfish, red drum, common snook, Mr. Common Snooky, all the other kinds of snook because, well, the other kinds of snook are kind of bycatch, unless you count them as snook too, and you count all like four types of snook in the Florida area, one kind of snook. That's one cool way to do it. Um, what's next? What's next? What's next? They're a good bait for it. if you keep them live and you get them out there. You can probably cut bait, grouper, big, bit, pretty big snapper, shark. Just think to yourself, anything that would eat a fish in the ocean. Quite a big list of things. I actually just looked up and I'm pretty sure a mahi would eat a greenback too. Because my mahi is... Hey, have I ever showed you guys that? Oh, that's my mahi replica. I'll show you that in good detail someday. <laughs> Let's fall backwards. Um, yeah, just think it. Anything that will eat a fish will most likely eat a 
greenback. So greenbacks get like from microscopic because that's what they are whenever they're in an egg, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, to they grow to like, I've seen some like the size of ladyfish, smaller size ladyfish. Um, so probably seven, eight inches. Because I've seen one, I've seen them twice as long as my hand in them. I'm no mathematician, but wait a second. As I dig into yonder backpack. We got a ruler. And it's not here, of course it is. And guess what, you're still gonna see this. Is guess what we do at Emory Fishing Freak. We don't edit. Um, oh geez, now it's getting kind of long with me just doing nothing. So, I'm pretty much just going to say, there's not really too much story behind this. Greenbacks are caught on sabiki rigs. Get a sabiki rig. You can either find them near pylons and stuff. You can see them scrolling up. They'll You'll see a huge commotion on the surface. Kind of like the Jaws poster over there, but just a little less wave coming up. Um, next to pylons. Whoa. Um, or you can chum with, like, dog food, even. You can chum with a lot of things. <laughs> Whenever we bring in normal fish, we'll bring in greenbacks, too. Like, school fish. So, pretty much just buy your local chum block, because there's only one of them in your local area. Go out there. Buy a cast now. Or is it, oh. Did I mention greenbacks can be caught in cast nets too? That's just how I'm going to end this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the shaky camera of Emery Fishing Freak. Bye bye No, I'm just shaking my head.